Holiday season is here and like every year I am back with some amazing books to read this Christmas. So wear some cozy clothes, snuggle in with a blanket and brew some hot coffee for this list of Christmas books is sure to get you into a festive mood. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Shalu. Welcome to my channel where I post videos related to books. If you are new here, then do subscribe to my channel for new bookish videos every week. First of all, let me wish all my viewers a Merry Christmas. Reading during the festive season is a wonderful way to get into the Christmas spirit and enjoy the delights of the holiday season. There are some wonderful books which illustrate the magic and excitement surrounding Christmas. Every year I compile a list of books to read during Christmas. In case you want to check my previous Christmas book recommendations, I will leave the video links in the description box. This year again I have 5 amazing books to share which will surely warm your heart and bring back the thrill of Christmas. So without further ado, let's get started. The first book on my list is The Girl Who Saved Christmas by Matt Haig. Last year I read Matt Haig's A Boy Called Christmas and I fell in love with the story he had created. I was so enchanted by his first Christmas novel that I was so looking forward to read the second installment in Matt Haig's Christmas trilogy. This book is a treat for readers. This book tells the story of a little girl Amelia, the first girl ever to receive a gift from Father Christmas. Her hope made that first visit possible because with hope comes magic. Amelia's mother is critically ill. She writes to Father Christmas for help. But he is held up because there has been a troll attack in Elfhelm which nearly destroyed it. And this leads to cancellation of Christmas that year. Amelia is now losing hope. Her mother has died and she finds herself in the worst workhouse in London which is run by the mean Mr. Creeper. For the second year in a row Christmas is threatened because there is not enough hope in the world to help Father Christmas create his magic. And the only way to save Christmas is to save Amelia. In this book, you will see how Father Christmas saves Christmas with the help of Amelia's hope. Also, you will get to know how Father Christmas meets Mary and how they fell in love with each other. And the surprise doesn't end here. Charles Dickens and Queen Victoria also make a surprise entry. This is a sweet Christmas story which is also a bit sad at places. The book is filled with fun, adventures, some evil characters and trolls, but plenty of joy and happy messages which are sure to delight any reader. The next book is The Christmas Stories of Louisa May Alcott by Louisa May Alcott. Louisa May Alcott is best known for her timeless classic Little Women which is a perfect book for the festive season. However, if you have read Little Women then you can give this collection a try. These stories emphasize on the Christmas spirit of charity, kindness and generosity. The stories are based on Alcott's family and her experiences and have intricate details of Christmas celebrations during the 19th century. The stories include an excerpt of the Christmas scene from The Little Women. There are similar themes in most of these stories. Children who are poor getting a Christmas, children who are well off learning to be generous, adult love stories, servant children being shown kindness by the family. I found something to enjoy in all of the stories. Those who want classic feel good Christmas tales should pick this up. Elko drives home the message of gratitude and giving to the less privileged being the true spirit of Christmas. The next book is Cupcakes for Christmas by Kate Havitt. If you love both Christmas and baking then you will surely love this book. This is a contemporary romance set during the festive season. The story follows Olivia James, a 39 years old woman who owns a little tea and bakery shop which had once belonged to her mother Tina. Olivia and her mother were always very close and living about the shop together until recently when her mother retired, handed over the shop to Olivia and moved to her own house. With Christmas approaching, Olivia decides to run a special 12 days of cupcakes promotion which turns out to be a huge success. But little did she know that a meeting with the mysterious and handsome stranger will turn her life way sweeter. I thought it was going to be the typical cute Christmassy romance. However, the story tackles a lot of important themes such as dementia, mental health and Alzheimer's. And there are heartbreaking moments also in spite of the happy ending. All in all, I would recommend this book if you want to read a story that is both heartbreaking and heartwarming. And the next book is Once Upon a Christmas Carol by Karen Shaler. This is another sweet Christmas story. There is music, there are Christmas carols and they tie into the story. The story follows Rachel, a famous pop singer who returns to her hometown when her record label drops her. 
She hasn't celebrated Christmas in her hometown since her mother died 15 years ago. She receives a Christmas card that encourages her to go back to her hometown Crystal Falls. After getting there, she continues to receive the cards that promise a Christmas surprise and take her on a scavenger hunt of sorts. During her time in Crystal Falls, she reconnects with her old boyfriend and rediscovers the passion she used to have while creating music. This contemporary romance is a sweet reminder of the spirit of Christmas. I love the charming story and the endearing characters. I listened to the audiobook. Love the music and both the narrators are absolutely perfect. A super sweet, quick listen that is perfect for the festive season. And the last book is The Twelve Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bellis. This cute British rom-com surprised me with how enjoyable it was. The story follows Kate who is well into her 30s and insists that she is not keen on romance. But then her friend convinced her to join a dating service where she will go for 12 dates in the month before Christmas. Kate has some funny and terrible dates. She meets some wonderful new friends and must figure out what to do in her love life and finally follows her heart. If you're looking for something to read this Christmas and love the romance genre, then pick this book. This book really puts you in the Christmas mood with the food, the setting and the funny moments that Kate goes through while online dating. So these were my Christmas book recommendations this year. Have you read any of these books? If yes, then do share your thoughts in the comment section. Also share with me what you are reading at the moment. And if you have enjoyed this video, then please like, comment and share. And if you want to see more such bookish videos, then please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Until my next video, bye and take care.